Hello again. This is Lesson 1, Part 2. I wanted to start this part of Lesson 1 with a detailed demonstration of the hand position for playing the harp. The fingers hinge at the second knuckle, this knuckle here, and the tip of the finger bends back when you pluck the string. The thumb is held high and the string is plucked from the side of the thumb. After you've finished plucking the strings, all the fingers should be touching the palm of your hand with the thumb resting on the top of your second finger, like so. Okay? Now I'll demonstrate on the harp. Thumb high, hand horizontal to the strings, see how that is? Okay, and your elbow up and out. Okay, now this is how you go. You play lower strings, your hand moves like this. See, it's the elbow that hinges everything. The hand position remains the same. And the same holds true for the left hand. The same idea all the way through. Okay, now we're going to start with exercise 1A. Now, we place our fingers on the strings before we play. Okay, so here we go. C, D, D, E, E, F, F, G, G, A, A, B, B, C. See? And then you come down again. That's exercise one. Now you do that in the right hand and you do it in the left hand. Now exercise 1B. Here we're using three fingers now. See how that works? And then you come down again. See? It's pretty good. All right. Now you do this exercise in the right hand and in the left hand. And then the final exercise for this lesson is exercise 1C. And here we're going to use all of the fingers. Elbow out. Thumb nice and high, palm horizontal. that works and you do that exercise with the right hand and with the left hand okay now turn to the page at the beginning of each piece in this book is a word that indicates the speed at which you should be playing there there's lots of terms for it um, you have very slowly slow leisurely moderately brisk fast very fast also, sometimes there's also a word that indicates the general tone, emotional feel of the piece of music. Okay, now we're going to start our first piece of music. It's called Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And we're going to name the notes first. C, C, G, G, A, A, G, F, F, E, E, D, D, C. G, G, F, F, E, E, D. G, G, F, F, E, E, D. C C G G A A G F F E E D D C. Okay. Now we're going to clap to this. We're going to get the rhythm. Okay. It's in four four times, so we count to four. One two three four. One two three. 
four. One, two, three, 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 four. Okay, that's great. All right, now we're going to play this on the harp. Now what we want to do is we want to get the hand position right. Thumb nice and high, elbow out, palms par parallel to the strings. And then we're going to play. going to count and play with a piece of music. One, two, three, four. 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 Great! Okay, now you play this piece of music in the left hand as well and keep repeating it until it feels comfortable to you. Okay, now the next piece that we're going to be doing is Yankee Doodle. And we'll name the notes of this. C C D E C E D C C D E C B C C D E F E D C B G A B C C And now we'll clap this out. This piece is also in 4/4 four, four time. So we count to 4. 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Great. Now we'll play this piece on the harp. Hand position, elbow up, thumb up high. Pretty good. Okay, now we're going to play it again and we're going to count with it while we play. Excuse me, we're going to count with it. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. 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 Great! Now you practice this one. Uh, right hand and then the left hand an octave lower. Okay, now the last piece in this particular sequence is Go Tell Aunt Rhody. Okay, now we're going to name the notes E, E, D, C, C, D, D, F, E, D, C, G, G, F, C, E, 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 D, C, D, E, C. And we're going to clap the rhythm out. This is also in 4-4 four, four time, so we count to 4. 1, 2, Three, four, one, two, 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 three, four. Great. Okay, now we'll play this piece of music. 
on the harp. Hand position again, thumb nice and high, elbow out. Great! And now we're going to play the piece of music and count with it as well. One two, three, four, one, 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 two, three, four. Excellent! Great! And you practice this one, the right hand and the left hand, an octave lower. Hello, this is Lesson 1, Part 3, and we're going to be moving into eighth notes. Now, an eighth note has a filled-in body, a stem, and a flag. This is an eighth note. You'll see pictures of it on page 19 of your book in various forms, with flags and with uh, uh, beams on them as well. Now, when you count the beats, in a measure that contain eighth notes, you still count one, two, three, four as before, but now you add the word and between each number to create a division like one and two and three and four and. One way to practice clapping this is to clap your hands in a steady beat and count one number on each clap, then keeping your clap steady, add the word and like this. One. Two, three, four, one and two and three and four and. See how that works? Okay. Now at the top of page 20, there's a rhythm section, and we're going to clap this out and count as well. One and two and three and. Let's start again. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. See? Okay, now our first piece of music that have eight notes in it is called Lavender's Blue. Now we'll say the names of the notes together. G, G, A, G. F E D C C B A G C B A G F E D C D D E D G G A G F E D C C B A G C B A G F E D C F E D C Okay, now we'll clap the rhythm out together and count. One and two and three and four and 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 one one and two and three and four and 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 great okay now we're going to play this on the harp observing hand positions. Now keep your thumb high, hands horizontal, elbows out.
Okay, now we'll play it and we'll count it out together as well. One and two and three and four and 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 one and two three and four and one and two and 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 three and four and great so you play this with the right hand and the left hand an octave lower same thing name the notes clap and count it out and play and count okay now we're going to do the piece are you sleeping now we'll name the notes first c d e c c d e c e f g e f g g a g f e c g a g f e c c g c c g c great now we'll clap it out together and count and this piece has eight notes as well one and two and three and four and 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 great okay now we'll play this piece of music thumb high remember your position hands parallel to the the harp strings elbows out Okay, now we'll play this and we'll count with it. One and two and three and four and 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 Excellent. Okay, that concludes the pieces for lesson one. Now, on all of the pieces, make sure that you name the notes before you play it and clap out the rhythm before you try playing it, then play it, and then count and play with it. Okay, thank you. Until next week, bye-bye.